Hello everyone, uh, good morning, and welcome to our trip to Germany. And I am Dia, and this is Tom and James. Come here, James and Eric and Justin. Okay, and today we will explore whole Germany. So here we go. Germany is long as Central Europe and it is a direct nine country. So if you don't like it, you can get out of other country. It has population of around four I mean five million people. Boring is the second big city. Because different times Germanys won't worry very much. And talk to the population of Germany, we can move from this picture. In this picture we can see the population curve from 1960 to 2020. And as the picture you can see we can know the German of uh, Germany of population was more than Turkey and France. And in 2020, there are almost 83 million residents in Germany and it ranks 16th in the world. And the population shows that uh, Germany has zero and negative growth and, and it has the aging population and a small and a young population is small. And the official language in Germany is German. So I think if you want to go to Germany, you need to learn some fancy greeting of German. And so today I will share three greeting of German to everyone. And everyone, if you can, you can repeat after me. And number one, Guten Morgen. Okay, I know, everyone's so shocked. Guten Morgen, and it means good morning. And I don't know everyone remember when I opened this presentation, I said, hello everyone, Guten Morgen, and it means good morning. Okay, and number two, Guten Abend, it means good evening. And number three, I think this is so useful. And if someone help you, you can say thank, thank, and it means thank you in the English. And then we are talking about geography. Uh, this picture is very obvious. Uh, most of things in the north of Germany, and uh, most of mountains in the south of Germany. And then this picture is the major river in the Germany. And I want to share. Ring and Dano and Ring is here and Chinese and Dai Ying He and Dano is here uh, Chinese and Dono He and I think everyone has uh, heard the two, two, the two rivers name before because the two rivers is so famous in the Germany and many tourists go to there for tourist river by a boat and tourists can enjoy the beautiful scenery and they will maybe see a uh, culture uh, or oh, no, no culture, church, castle or sun house yes and they will find uh, the architecture feature is very different from Taiwan yes and besides the scenery the uh, tourists can enjoy the coffee or tea and the breeze Below, I think it's a very romantic moment, and you can uh, relax yourself, enjoy the time. And if you have enough money, you even can teleport to other country, like Netherlands or Austria. Yes, and so I think this is so interesting and fresh. And if you want to go to there for touring the river, uh, I very recommend in this period. 
April to October. Uh, in the in this period, you can enjoy the best scenery in in here. The climate is ranging from oceanic in the north to continental in the west, in the east and south east. Because of the westerlies, most region of Germany have a cool temperate in the north. Winter is warm and summer is cool in the east. Winter is cold and long, and summer is hot and dry. About the rainfall, it rains all year long in most regions. The rainfall reduced from the west to the east. If you want to travel to Germany, visiting when summer or spring is the best choice due to the mild temperature. But remember to carry on some rain gear if you don't want to get soaked. And talk about the landmark in Germany. The first I, I introduced is the Stein Museum. The uh, Stein Museum is one of the most art museum in uh, Germany. And it was built by the banker named Stead, that's why the museum used his name to remind him. And Stead Museum divided into three floors, and they are basement, first floor, and second floors. And they also display different artwork, for example, basement and the first floor uh, is for uh, modern artwork, and the uh, second floor is for uh, older age artwork. And these are uh, photos about the uh, museum. And there are also different, and there are also another famous landmark. For example, like the Riesdeck building and the uh, Brandenburger Tomb and the uh, Berliner Dome and the uh, Munich Frequent a Ferren Kitchen. And let's talk about the traditions October Fest. And October Fest is in the end of September and uh, early and to the early October lasts for two weeks. And it's the biggest festival in Munich. And in 22, there are almost 6 million of people join this festival. And Oktoberfest is uh, origin in 1810 and first is for celebrate Norwegian wedding, but today it changes to a carnival. And in 2020 and 2021, because of the COVID-19, this festival is being cancelled. And let's talk about the superstitions. First, ladybug is a simple symbol of lucky. And second, before the drama starts, they'll spit on the performer's left shoulder to hope the uh, drama comes well. And uh, when you spit on the performance, you have to say toy, toy, toy. And third, is don't send a knife or scissors as a gift to your friends or lovers because a uh, don't say a knife is a symbol of cut of your friendship and shoes as your as a gift to your lovers is because uh, if they run after the others is your fault. In Taiwan, we have to be over a year ago to drink. But in Germany, if you have already over four years, then you can drink with. But if you don't, you, but if your parents don't agree, then you still need to wait a year. Germany has no speed limit, so you need to be careful when you drive cars. Maybe you will meet a Maybe you will meet a madman who driving for hunger K. 
Germany's people believes God has sent her word. After God sent her word, he rests at Sunday. So the store won't open on Sunday. It's a church. And do you think this tree is so wonderful? What are you waiting for? Go to Germany now! And this is our presentation today. Any questions? Thank you for listening! <laughs>